So today I was talking in the, the session on cancer progression and my talk was really about stem cells in breast cancer. So this novel idea that there are, like a normal tissue, uh, a cancer has its own stem cells and those stem cells are the cells from which the tumour grows. But when you give a treatment, they may be resistant to the treatment and therefore survive perhaps in dormancy and later regrow the tumour and that's when a recurrence occurs. So it's important to target these cancer stem cells in order to improve current therapies. And in fact, what I focused on was a way in which we think we can target those cancer stem cells, which is a, a signaling pathway called the NOTCH receptor signaling pathway. It's a pathway that's normally used during um, growth of an animal, so during development, and it's not normally active in the adult, but it seems to be reactivated in, in cancer and in the cancer stem cells. And we're looking for new ways of inhibiting this pathway, which in combination with current treatments might improve cancer therapies. In fact, all of the pharmaceutical companies have got an inhibitor to this pathway. And it's an inhibitor that was actually developed for Alzheimer's disease. It's called a gamma secretase inhibitor. Gamma secretase is an enzyme involved in Alzheimer's disease but the enzyme also activates this notch receptor pathway. So by using this inhibitor that was being trialed for Alzheimer's disease in the lab, we can inhibit the pathway. And in fact, a lot of drug companies have switched that inhib inhibitor from being in their neuroscience program to their oncology programs because um, they see notch receptor inhibition as being important. The problem is that it's not the most uh, efficient way of inhibiting the notch pathway. So I'm not, I'm not saying that it's not one way of doing it. I think it's probably, if you like, the, the first class of notch inhibitors that are gonna be used in the clinic. And what the point I was trying to make in my talk was that there are other uh, methods for inhibiting the pathway that are probably going to be more effective in the future. And therefore, okay, gamma secretase inhibitors will be a good thing, but the, these other um, mechanisms of inhibiting the pathway will be better in the future. So, you know, already looking beyond the, this first stage of inhibiting the pathway. It's sort of quite complex because there's four notch receptors and the gamma secretase should hit all four equally, but we believe it doesn't hit them all equally. And therefore by developing antibodies, for example, that hit the individual notch receptors, you may, you may find a better way of getting at the, the problem in breast cancer, for example, because the gamma secretase inhibitor may hit notch one receptor, but not notch four receptor. And therefore antibodies that, that can therapeutically stop notch four activity may be better in breast cancer. I think the reason a patient will be interested is because we're now talking about combining current treatments that are effective with new treatments that may prevent some of the recurrences that still occur. So for example, even though we have good surgery, good adjuvant therapies such as endocrine therapies, there are still a third of patients that will recur sometime in the future after their surgery. And so by putting a combination therapy up front and killing the cells we kill now, but also the stem cells, then maybe, you know, further down the line, there'll be a lot less patients recurring. I guess that's the, the end goal.